Welcome to the Plain of Eldraine, a world infused with fairy tale creations where gallant knights protect the five courts of the realm from witches, fairies, and beasts of the dangerous wilds. In today's video, we'll follow the story of the twins Will and Rowan Kenrith as they quest throughout Eldraine to discover the fate of their missing father, the High King Algonus Kenrith. Along the way, they cross paths with a shape shifting trickster and a ferocious hunt master fight off the horrors of the wilds, and discover the true nature of their heritage. Will and Rowan are the birth children of Algonus Kenrith and adoptive children of his wife, Queen Linden. They know little of their true mother other than that she died during childbirth at the time when Algonus was nearly complete with the high quest to become king of the realm. Being born twins, they share a deep connection to one another and have been inseparable throughout their childhood and adolescence. Rowan is a rash and fiery spark mage who would rather rush headlong into her problems than deliberate on them. In contrast, Will is a cool, level-headed ice mage that works to keep Rowan's impulsivity in check. The two are a perfect pair of fire and ice and have even been known to weave their magic together for devastating effect. Living in the shadow of their parents' achievements and glory was difficult for Rowan, who so desperately dreams of going on her first quest and seeking out her own glory, if only to crawl out from under their shadow. Just months before they are of age to engage in a quest, the twins join their parents in the Grand Procession, a tradition in which the High King visits all the courts of the realm shortly after the first harvest. The two get separated from the procession and use a shortcut through Choking Drum, a remnant of the wilds, to catch up. There they are confronted and surrounded by a gang of murderous redcaps, saved only by the timely intervention of two strangers, one with the bearing and features of an elf, and the other with the intimidating aura of a deadly killer, Oko and Garrick Wildspeaker. Not much is known about Oko other than that he is a shapeshifter and trickster, and not native to Eldraine. His intentions are unclear, but he narrowly escaped death at the hands of Garrick and placed the Huntsman under a glamour spell so that Garrick must obey him. The charming and amiable Oko joins the twins in regrouping with the procession, and all seems to be well as they settle in for dinner. But with another spell, Oko wipes from their minds any memory that he was there with them, and hours later, in the dead of night, they hear word that their father, High King Algonus Kenrith, has vanished. A few months after the High King's disappearance, and on the night of their 18th birthday, the Kenrith twins embark on the quest Rowan longed for her whole life as they begin searching the realm for their lost father. They journey first to Castle Vantris, the home of Indralon, the mysterious magic mirror, in hopes that it might offer them insight about Kenrith's location. The Magic Mirror is an ancient artifact believed to be the essence of the wisest sage ever to have lived on Eldraine, and it is nearly omniscient. It trades in secrets, offering riddle-wrapped answers to those who present it with a secret it does not yet know. Will believes that if they get an audience with the mirror, he can trade his secret to uncover the truth of their father's fate. They make their way to Indralon's chamber, and the two approach the mirror, but it speaks first. It tells them, You were bred out of a witch's hex and birthed out of a bloody death, but love and loyalty had the raisings of you. What secret do you bring me? This brings doubt and even more questions to the nature of their birth and parentage. They compose themselves, though, and Will freezes a pool of water to show the mirror his secret, a vision of a location not known in all the realm and possibly all of Eldraine. The vision ends with a black spear that sucks everything, even light, into it until nothing remains. The vision is up to much speculation. It hints at future events, but it could also be interpreted as a sign of the twins' currently dormant powers. Regardless, it's something that the mirror has not seen and as such, it provides them with an answer to their question which is illustrated in the spotlight card, Unexplained Vision. Here we can see the twins looking into the mirror to find a brilliant stag standing on top of a rock formation within a forest. They know in an instant the location to be in the wilds, but they don't know exactly where, and they don't know why the stag is significant. An instant later, the mirror fades and they are left to their own devices to uncover the clues. 
The next stop on their quest is Castle Garenbrig, court of the giant King Yorvo, and home of the Great Henge, another of the five ancient artifacts. The twins wish to use the Henge's mystical ability to open a portal into the heart of the wilds so that they may continue their search for the stag. They entreat King Yorvo to assist them, and he aligns the Henge's stones to match their specified location. They cross through the portal and emerge into the mystical and dangerous wilds, having until dusk to find the stag. Upon their arrival in the wilds, they are immediately attacked by a lich knight, whose wispy tendrils seek to absorb their life force. Caught in its mesmerizing gaze, Will is saved at the last moment by the very stag they were meant to find. It heaves itself into the lich and tears it apart with its antlers, then flees over the horizon. The twins give chase but are soon lost in the tortuous paths of the wilds, instead stumbling upon a meeting of elven leaders preparing for their traditional midwinter hunt. A ceremony to bind the earth and sky in which they track and eat a chosen prey. It is said that nothing can get between the hunt and its prey. They also deliberate on whether to attack the realm now that Kenrith is gone and they are instigated in this decision by a mysterious foreigner. Will and Rowan quietly leave just to come face to face with Oko. They're hit with a wave of recollection and realization that Oko is not what he seems, a shapeshifter working to pit the wilds against the realm. They discover that he is responsible for the disappearance of the High King and that the stag they've been searching for is actually their father, transformed by Oko's magic. Oko seeks to start hostilities between the realm and the wilds by having the hunt stalk and kill the stag as their prey, at which point it will transform back into the king whose death will be nothing short of a declaration of war. Will and Rowan employ the aid of the newly freed Garrick Wildspeaker to track down the hunt and save their father before it's too late. They find the stag near the well of an old abandoned cottage one that's under the hex of a long dead witch. Inside the well is a sword matching the one mounted above the throne in Ardenvale and seen on the card Linden the Steadfast. Two mythical swords imbued with magic by the questing beast were given to a young Algonus and Linden to complete the high quest. But the answer to why the sword is there will have to wait. As the elves of the hunt close in on the stag, a flurry of wings descends from the skies. The Queen of the Realm arrives with a squadron of Ardenvale Griffin Knights. Linden tries to talk down the elves and explain the situation, but the hunt cannot be disbanded until it kills its prey. Tensions boil, then turn into outright conflict, and amidst the chaos, Oko, disguised as Ayara, looses an arrow that pierces the stag. Garrick leaps into action, attacking the shape-shifting murderer, but Oko narrowly escapes and planeswalks to an unknown location. The astonishing speed with which the events play out leaves everyone in shock as they gather around the fatally wounded stag and king of the realm. With their quarry slain, the elves have no need for further violence, and Linden permits them to drink the blood of the stag to complete their ritual. The morning sun crests the horizon, and the stag transforms back into Algonus Kenrith, whose body lies in the queen's lap. But Linden knows something the elves don't. As the hunt disbands, she reaches for the mystical sword within the well. The questing beast knew that completing the high quest meant certain death, so he granted each sword the ability to resurrect one life. But the sword in Ardenvale is spent, its luster and enchantment snuffed out. And so the twins hear the true story of their birth. A witch of the wilds put Kenrith under her spell while he was completing the high quest. She used him to birth a child and planned on using its innocent blood to brew an elixir of immortality. The twin children that the witch bore were already dead when Linden found Kenrith. She breaks him of his curse and he thrusts his questing sword into the witch's eye. While he leaves in shame and seeks to regain his honor, Linden uses the magic of her own sword to resurrect the twins, Will and Rowan. But since the sword can only save one life, the twin souls are one forever entwined. The well still holds the sword Kenrith used to slay the witch, and it's still glowing with mystical energy, its charge unspent. Linden uses it to revive him, and moments later Kenrith is brought back to the realm of the living. 
but instead of sharing a deeply heartfelt family moment, Rowan is shocked and enraged that the truth of her existence was kept secret from her, that her parents would do such a thing, that she had already been killed once and resurrected. The emotional shock envelops Rowan in a wave of pure energy that consumes Will as well. An instant later, their shared Planeswalker spark ignites, sending them hurtling across the multiverse. So ends the story of the Wildered Quest and the origin of the Planeswalkers Kenrith. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for weekly lore content. Links for the references used can be found in the description below. And if you're interested in learning more about Eldraine, check out the Wildered Quest ebook by Kate Elliott. Until next time, go forth and explore the lore.